Business Watch is brought to you by Trafalgar Motors, distributors of Jaguar and Land Rover. On Monday, the West Indian Tobacco Company increased its prices by 6%. And the company says it does not expect the increase to affect sales. And now smokers tell us a price hike in cigarettes will not stop them from buying. I'm smoking more. This man has been smoking for over 30 years. He remembers paying $2.50 for a pack of cigarettes. He's not pleased with the price increase, but he tells us he will continue to smoke the usual amount. Well, the price is exactly the ridiculous yet because... The, the price it was rolling on, they don't have a hard price already, so we raised it up more higher. You think we'll stop here from smoking? You think we'll stop here? You know what I mean? Let's make it continue still buying cigarettes because we're a real smoker that buys cigarettes. He doesn't care about the price of cigarettes. Eric George is a pensioner. He too has been a smoker for many years. I used to pay 23, but this one I paid 25. Manager of Smoking in Bunting St. James, Shane Munro, says. Whenever the price of cigarettes go up, it does not affect sales at his bar. It is a habit, and the little increase will not really um, harm for them. A pack of Donnell is $27, it will be like $28. Tomorrow, $25, it will be $26. The brothers, like $22, it will be $23. Whitco's price increase on Monday was the second increase within a year. The last one was back in November and again in February 2013. The company's share price increased by $0.08 cents on Tuesday to close trading at $118.21. Despite flat sales volumes from price increases, Whitco's profit continues to increase. Judy Kanhai, CNC3 Business Watch. Business Watch was brought to you by Trafalgar Motors, distributors of Jaguar and Land Rover.